funny way to sleep. How can the flamingo go to sleep standing on one leg like that? Well, it's comfortable for the flamingo because God made him that way. Hi, and welcome to Keys for Kids. My name is Zach. Have you ever seen a pink flamingo sleep on one skinny little leg? You wonder how it can hold itself up like that, especially while it's asleep. But remember this, that's God's plan for the flamingo, and it works. Prayer is like that, too. Think about it. Sometimes it seems like there is no way that we can hold ourselves up when we face challenges and problems in our lives. But prayer is like the leg of that pink flamingo. You might be surprised how strong it is. James 5.16 says, The prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective, just like the flamingo. Our story today is called, The Way God Made It. Aviary, read Logan, looking at the sign above the door of one of the buildings at the zoo. He was visiting the zoo with his uncle Mike. What does that mean? asked Logan. An aviary is a place where birds are kept. Let's see what kinds they have here. They opened the door and heard a lot of chirping and squawking, and as they walked through the building, they saw many different kinds of birds. Look over there! Uncle Mike pointed toward a flamingo standing on one leg. That one is asleep. What a funny way to sleep, said Logan. How can that one skinny leg hold up such a big bird? Well, all I can tell you is that's the way God made it, said Uncle Mike. It's amazing, isn't it? Logan grinned and nodded. After leaving the aviary, Uncle Mike bought them each a snack. As they sat on a bench and munched their chips, Logan was very quiet. Thinking about your parents again? asked Uncle Mike. Yeah, said Logan. I just know they're going to get a divorce. Now, you don't know that for sure, Logan. The reason you're here with me this weekend is so they could go on that marriage seminar. I think they're going to try to work things out. Well, maybe, said Logan. I know that's what they talked about, but I wish I could do something to help them. You can pray, said Uncle Mike. I already do that, said Logan. I pray all the time, but that's just a little thing. That's what you said about the flamingo's leg, Uncle Mike reminded him. But that little leg held the whole bird up, didn't it? And though our prayers may seem small, God uses them to do great things. Even when things don't turn out the way we want, we can have peace knowing that He hears us when we pray and promises to work through our prayers to do good things and show people His love. Uncle Mike smiled. That's the way God made it. Well, what about you? Do you have problems that are totally out of your control and the only thing you can do about them is pray? Well, that's actually the best thing you can do for any of your problems because your prayers are going to a very powerful God who loves you very much. If you know Jesus, you are God's child and he promises to use your prayers for good even when he doesn't answer them the way you ask. Pray about your problems and then trust God to answer in his own special way. Our key verse for today is James 5.16. The prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. And our key thought for today, prayer goes a long way. Do you know what Easter is all about? It's not about Easter eggs and chocolate bunnies, that's for sure. This year on Keys for Kids Radio's Best News Ever, discover why we celebrate the death and resurrection of Jesus. We'll go to Mr. Pig's Barbecue for a spring pageant, and we'll rock out with a new Easter musical every single day. Get the scoop on all of it at keysforkids.net and tap Best News Ever in the menu. That's keysforkids.net and tap Best News Ever. I'm Zach with Keys for Kids.